Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the differences between a benign and malignant tumour. OK, now in previous videos, we looked at mitosis and the cell cycle. A key idea you need to understand is that cells contain a number of genes which play a role in regulating the cell cycle. These genes help to determine when a cell undergoes mitosis. Now, in some cells, the genes that control mitosis and the cell cycle are mutated and no longer function effectively. Because of these mutated genes, the normal regulation of mitosis and the cell cycle is disrupted. These abnormal cells now undergo mitosis, forming a group of cells called a tumour. Now, we can divide tumours into two groups. These are non-cancerous tumours, which we call benign tumours, and cancerous tumours, which we call malignant tumours. You need to be able to describe the features of benign and malignant tumours. I'm showing you a benign tumour here. This is growing inside a person's cheek. Now, benign tumours tend to grow relatively slowly, but they can grow to a large size. The cells in a benign tumour usually show normal specialisation, and they tend to have a regular-looking nucleus. Now, a key feature of benign tumours is that they tend not to spread. Instead, they usually stay in one location and grow. That's because the cells in a benign tumour produce adhesion molecules. Adhesion molecules cause the cells to stick together. Also, benign tumours are often surrounded by a capsule of tissue, which keeps the cells in one place. Scientists call this tumour a primary tumour. By constantly growing, a benign tumour can damage the tissue around it. And if a benign tumour grows on or in an organ, it can prevent that organ from functioning normally. Because they're localised, a benign tumour will often be removed surgically via an operation. And once a benign tumour has been removed, it generally won't occur again. OK, I'm showing you here a malignant tumour. This is malignant melanoma, which is a type of skin cancer. And remember that any malignant tumour is classed as cancerous. Now, malignant tumours grow rapidly and can become large. And cells in malignant tumours often appear highly abnormal. I'm showing you here cells from a malignant tumour, in this case from a malignant melanoma. Malignant tumour cells can lose any differentiation or specialisation of the original cells. And the nuclei of malignant tumour cells can be larger than normal cells and can appear darker. That's because malignant cells can contain more DNA than normal cells. Now, unlike benign tumours, malignant tumours are not surrounded by a capsule. And this means that malignant tumours can extend growths outwards into nearby tissue. Also, the cells in malignant tumours do not produce adhesion molecules. This means that cells can break away from the primary malignant tumour and spread to distant locations. Scientists refer to this spreading as metastasis, and the distant tumours are called secondary tumours. And in fact, the cells I'm showing you here are actually from a secondary malignant melanoma, which had developed on the patient's liver. OK, I'm showing you the process of metastasis here. As a tumour develops, blood vessels and lymph vessels can grow into the tumour. Cancer cells can then detach from the primary malignant tumour and then squeeze into these vessels and travel around the body. The cancer cells can then pass out of the bloodstream and form a secondary tumour at a distant location. Now, these secondary tumours can develop at multiple locations all over the body, so multiple sites of healthy tissue can be destroyed, which is likely to be life-threatening. Also, these tumours often release chemicals which have systemic effects. In other words, they affect the whole body. These include fatigue and weight loss. Now, malignant primary and secondary tumours can be removed by surgery. However, if a large number of secondary tumours are present, then surgical removal may not be possible. Also, some secondary tumours may be too small to detect. So often, chemotherapy and radiotherapy will also be used. In chemotherapy, toxic chemicals are used to kill cancer cells. Whereas in radiotherapy, cancer cells are killed by targeted radiation. However, in both chemotherapy and radiotherapy, healthy body cells can also be killed. And because malignant cells can spread all over the body, it's possible that malignant tumours can reoccur even after treatment. Now, earlier on, we said that mitosis and the cell cycle 
are regulated by genes and that tumours can form when those genes are mutated. Those genes are called oncogenes and tumour suppressor genes. So in the next video, we look at oncogenes.